That sigh makes me nervous. Jeff and I went camping over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Far away, all the way up Woody, Woody Mountain Road. Far away from where we've ever seen this thing. We were kind of nervous, but we, I don't know, we thought there was enough distance, plenty of distance, but something happened. But what specifically? Well, we cut our camping trip short, I'll tell you that. So I'm assuming you ran into it again? We did, and I have it on tape. Why don't you just show me? So how long are you going to be wearing my glasses? The whole ride. <laughs> Maybe forever. Oh, man. It's like a whole new world when I put those things on. A whole new world. <laughs> a new fantastic point of view. This is awesome, Jeff. Right? A bit windy, but it'll die down. Yeah. View. It's like everyone's already gotten all the firewood. I think everyone's been through here and just completely like grabbed all the firewood. Get us out of here. You have the keys? Fuck. They're in the tent. Fuck. I think I know where you're, where you're going with this. Um, obviously, since you went out to an area that was pretty far away, but it's still tracking you down, you're going to tell me that we can't just ignore it, and that it's a problem and we have to do something about it. And yeah, I agree it is a problem, and we have to do something about it, but I still don't think charging out there to like hunt it down or just going in more with crazy expeditions is the answer. I think I've stumbled across some like protective spells or gear that we might be able to might be able to use. And I'm just asking that you give me a little time to look, look a little further into this before we do anything rash, because I'm telling you man, I, I'm trying not trying to tell you to live your life. I understand that you want to move on. I know life. you're worried. I know you're worried, you know, it, it basically wasn't letting us go, and I don't know, I feel like it's, it's personal in some yeah. way. Yeah, and I, I think that's why we need to be cautious about this. I think it wants you to freak out, and I think it wants you to go out there looking for it. I think we need to play the smart and really come up with a solid plan if we're going to do something about this. 
So I'm just asking you, just give me some time to look into this a little more, and don't do anything rash. Are you really on to something? I'm pretty sure I am. Okay, I mean... Because for me, for, up until now, it's pretty much been either ignore it or kill it. Now, if there's option C, then I would love to hear it, but... We need... I'm just saying we need to be cautious and smart about this. Alright, so, you know, just, just, just promise me that you're not going to do anything crazy, and we'll figure something out. I'll see you later. Hey. Hey. What? Promise me you're not going to go out there by yourself, alright? Okay, I promise. I'll see ya. See ya. So, um, I met up with Daniel today. And? And I showed him the footage from that weekend, <clears throat> and, um... Oh, God. What did he think? Well, he knew exactly what I was thinking, which is that I think we should do something about it. However, he claims to be working on something that will not be ignoring the problem, but also not engaging it. I don't know what that means. Well, what, what there, do you want to do something about this? In, there's something in summoning it and killing it on the spot. I just... Daniel thinks that um, it's just way too dangerous, and he might be right. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm tired of this thing controlling my life. Well, Daniel isn't as involved in this as you are, so he shouldn't have a say in it. I think we should just nip it in the bud and get rid of it just completely. I, I, I don't, I'm just, I just want it gone. I want to kill it. I'll give Daniel another week or so to come up with something. If not, I don't know. I, I kind of want to just get rid of it.